It's sunny and raining. Anyway. Thanks for joining us today. I uh, apologize last week. I was without my computer, so the Friday video was not able to be uploaded on Friday. The schedule should go back to normal. I was out of town. I was in Minnesota. We did shoot a little bit, although the amount of video I got versus the amount of fish we caught was uh, pretty, pretty different from each other. We had a very good time. Caught a couple of really nice fish. Fun getting out fishing. Extraordinarily clear water. We were fishing zebra mussel water. <laughs> Natural lakes that are really clear and have aquatic weed growth, submergent weed growth. That weed can hold fish. It's a lot of fun. I don't get a lot of that because most everything we have around here is man-made, either dug out of the ground or dammed up. Oh, there's a bass right there. Polarization, super important, especially in this clear water. So I've wanted to make this video for a while. This is not a sponsored video. This is not something where I'm being given product or compensated in any way. All the guys, the seven fish guys, run the same companies, sunglasses. But I do have certain preferences even within that that line and I kind of want to explain them. Costa makes a couple of different frames, well a lot of different frames, they make a couple of different lenses. Costa started with a model called the 400 and the 400 is named such because it blocks everything below 400 nanometers of light. 400 nanometers of light is the spe part of the visible spectrum of blue light that will cause haze in the distance. By eliminating that part of the visible spectrum it will enhance contrast so that you can see without that haze necessarily blocking the ability to see that. So you do actually appear to have a crisper image in the distance. As you may know about UV light, it's the stuff that gives you sunburns. It's, a, it's actually a radiation. It will burn your skin, stuff on your eyes. And the reason they want to block ultraviolet light is to protect you from those more harmful rays. Later, they came out with a model called the 580. And the 580s are what I'm wearing right now. The 580 is named because of 580 nanometers of light. They notch 580 out of the visible spectrum, as well as blocking everything 400 and below. The reason that they selected 580 is because that's about the spectrum where glare happens. And glare will confuse your eye because it fires two of your cones at the same time, creates an area around that glare that's difficult to see. It does not completely eliminate the effects of glare, but it substantially reduces and enhances your ability to see in a number of different light conditions. Talk about polarization and the need for polarization. I put a little piece of video in here that I shot. I tend to run copper. I fish fresh water. This is expressly for fresh water. I do like the copper for driving for a number of different applications. And I tend to run the silver mirror variation. A unmirrored or a silver mirrored in Costa's lineup will pass 12% of the light. A blue mirror or green mirror will pass 10% of the light. So you do get a little bit more darkening, but I prefer the coppers because they block nearly as much light, but I will get about a half an hour longer in the day that I can continue to wear my glasses versus other guys that I fish with who are running different mirroring. That's a crappie, isn't it? I can't even see a fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, Sam. Whoa. Right there. That's cool. That's a crappie, isn't it? I think so. Where is he? See that bed? Oh, this thing right here? Yeah. You wearing blue glasses? Yeah. You want my copper ones? I can see in the water. Okay. Just... But you couldn't see that fish on the bed? I saw the first one, not the second one. Oh, here's a fish on the bed. Don't move. Okay, there's a crappie right there. I can straight up see him. That, that one you were looking at? You see it now? 100% can see a fish in there now. Right there. Right there. Copy in that bed right there. Yeah, you're seeing so many more than oh, I. Oh, plain as day too. That's a big. That's a nice bed. I'm gonna swap your glasses. Is it pretty dark for you now? 
Yeah, it's dark and I can't see near what I can see. This makes it super, it looks like it's a whole different day out. Yeah. I don't think they're going to bite if we're right on top of them. Oh, here's one. Oh, that other, oh, that other fish darted. You can see the difference? A big difference. I need to get new lenses. Copper is the shit, man. In terms of actually seeing the fish on the beds, it's way, way better. For sure. I can tell you that most of the guys running saltwater tend to want to run a blue lens. There's a lot of light when you're dealing with that, especially coastal down Florida and Texas. But for freshwater applications in clear water especially, when I'm musky fishing, I really need to see because you need to see follows and read fish and understand what you're dealing with. Also helps to see lanes in the weeds and things like that. When I'm trout fishing, you definitely need to see because you're a lot of times sight fishing for trout, look, looking for fish that are holding in certain areas so you can make a presentation without spooking that fish. Um, if you can see them before they see you, that's a good thing. So for those of you fishing coastal salt, like bugs, you know, your blues, good for that application.